What is up everyone? Welcome to today's reaction video and today's reaction was filmed as a part of my monthly live stream for my Patreons. Uh, what that basically means for all of you in YouTube land is two things. Number one, you may see some cuts and some edits during this video. I want you all to know that is not where you missed out on any part of the reaction. The video has not been unpaused while those cuts have happened. All that's happened in those moments is I've taken a moment to engage and chat with the live chat to keep the party going, to have the absolute blast that we always have. But as for the actual main reaction, y'all have not missed out on anything. You will still get the full reaction right here as always. Uh, the second thing that it does mean is the fact that you could have got access to this reaction a lot sooner. Uh, I release all of these live stream reactions to my Patreons on the stag tier and above and to my YouTube members on the stag slash doe tier. Uh, they are basically same price, but if you sign up over on the Patreon, you also get access to all the TV show reactions I've done. So check me out on Patreon if you want access to these kind of reactions a lot sooner than what they come to YouTube, as well as a back catalog of a whole bunch of other reactions, including some Christmas ones that didn't get to come out at Christmas time. There's a whole bunch of stuff up there. And like I said, if you sign up on Patreon, you get all the TV show reactions as well. So check that out. But for now, we are going to get into this reaction. I had an absolute blast filming it, as I always do. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. Hello, sir. I'm Terry Crews. What's your Cruz. name? Drake Milligan. And I see you're going to be singing? Yes, sir. I will be. I'm Drake Milligan. I'm from Fort Worth, Texas, and I'm a country music singer. Already, this man just has the gorgeous face, the gorgeous looks, and that, uh, that that country twang that's just just nice. I was a pretty normal Texas kid. I grew up a lot of hunting and a lot of fishing. My dad runs a scrapyard, and my mom's a veterinarian. A good country household. When I was about seven, I was out eating with my family, and there was an Elvis impersonator at the restaurant. And okay. I was enthralled. I think that's where I decided that I wanted to be like Elvis. Oh, wow. Okay, well, so cute. it's not just that he like that the show's just randomly pulled out oh you're a bit like elvis it's that he's actually been an elvis impersonator okay interesting first i'd go put on the jumpsuits i was dying my hair black but it probably wasn't till one of the first times i got on stage and sang some of my own songs i figured man this is something i can do you know i can pave my own way i love that it kind of makes me sad that he's gone on America's Got Talent and they have called him the new Elvis of country, uh, referring him back to that, like, if, if it's a thing of that he's trying to move on from that and he's still caught in it. But it, it seems to be something he wears with pride. And if anyone who was that dedicated to, like, that had that kind of a love for the artist, would be it would be an honour to be referred to them. So I don't think it's something he's taking in a bad way. <laughs> I mean, is there a bad way that you can be compared to Elvis? I really don't think that there is. I get nervous getting in front of a big crowd, but I've got my band with me and those guys are awesome. I've been watching America's Got Talent since I was a kid and I really just dreamed as a kid of being up on that stage. Hey y'all. This is so cute. Hello, how are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? Well, very nice to meet you. And who are you? I'm Drake Milligan from Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. How old are you, Drake? I'm 23. I'm guessing you're going to be singing today. Yes, sir. I will be singing. Good guess. How do I know? You're amazing. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, Simon. Don't ask. <laughs> now, I'm presuming that you gig around, I mean, the state or the country? Well, I'm based out of Nashville now. I've been recording my own songs here lately and, and been out with my band. We've been on the road and, and making stories and telling lies. And <laughs> yep. Out of interest, how many, are, how many roughly new artists get signed in Nashville per year, do you think? It's not very many. It's not, is it? So you think this is the platform to showcase your talent best? Absolutely. I mean, back in the day, uh, Elvis had the Ed Sullivan show, right? And, and yep. the Beatles did too. And I, yep. and I see this uh, uh, kind of on the same scale of that, uh, almost bigger, way bigger. Wow. That's a really interesting and good way to look at it because that really was kind of a thing back then of like, things like the Ed Sullivan show and things like that, they weren't competitions. They were just your band considered a big break if you could get onto a show like that because it would give you the spotlight that people would notice you. And a lot of people look at shows like America's Got Talent or you know American Idol or all the different shows like that as if you don't win, you're nothing. 
but it's the platform. It's like, look at Adam Lambert, for example, the guy came in second and has a way bigger, well, I don't know about a bigger career, but a huge career. He's the front man for Queen now and he came second, you know? Uh, so I feel like it, it's a really good, smart way to look at it in the idea of it's not about necessarily winning. It's about the honor of having that platform to put yourself out there. It's a very, very smart way to look at it. I like that. And you have a lot of people behind us to tell if you're any good or not. <laughs> and they know a lot more than record companies do. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. We always say three minutes, hopefully, will change your life. Let's see what happens. Good luck. Thank you very much. That's Thank you. you. <laughs> that is doing nothing for the man's nerves. He said he was nervous out there. And it's like, oh, yes, you have this entire audience of people who are judging you. And now you have three minutes to impress us or else. And it's just, you're not helping his nerves there, Simon. Come on, my guy. just the way he says ready boys that was just kind of sir like okay calm down with your sexiness over there all right staying too long at the honky tonk spending too much just to tie one on a little less right and a lot more on sounds like something i do Falling in sick with a fish or biting Take those curves with the gravel flying Keeping one eye on the next horizon Sounds like something I do He is instantly, he's, he's just walked into this situation and been like, hmm, how can I pack as much sex into my voice as possible? Like, he just wanted to, like, this man is singing. I, I, I. I, I don't even know how to put it into words. He is singing like a writer is writing an erotic novel. He has so much sex sensuality and sexuality in the way that he is singing this song that, sir, you need to calm down. It's a damn sexy voice. I, I thought it was bad when he was talking and then he started singing. Damn. I never had. That just skipped halfway through the video. Sorry, guys. I'm not sure. Oh, that just skipped forward a bit. Sorry about that. Sounds like something I do. I never had a reason, girl, to go around looking for a fire to walk through. Ain't like me to want somebody rearranging all my want to. I ain't the kind of settle down and let myself get wrapped around somebody's finger. But if I had you, baby, sounds like something. Okay, taking aside his voice, which is phenomenal, taking aside the sexiness of, his, the sexiness of his voice, which is on another level, this is just a banger of a song. I need to know if this is an original song by him, if it's a song he's covering, who did the original, is the original this sexy? Um, what is, what, what is, I, I need to know this song because it's an absolute freaking banger. And does Drake have a studio recorded version that he's put out? Because I want to hear that. Like, damn, this man is killing it. Sounds like something I do. My truck, get it pushing native, picking you up. And later, maybe getting one kiss and going half crazy. Sounds like something I do. The little accent he put on half crazy. <laughs> Uh, you know what you're doing. One kiss and going half crazy sounds like something I do. I never had a reason, girl, to go around looking the shimmy. I didn't know what it was that was missing from music in 2023 until I saw the little Elvis hip wiggle there that just, uh, 
Drake, we need to have a talk. You can't be doing this to me on the internet, okay? Um, it, the shimmy was enough, but then the hip wiggle and the point, I see why they're comparing him to Elvis, and I know where he learnt those moves, but, sir, <laughs> just, just keep going, fine, just keep going. I to kind of settle down and let myself get wrapped around somebody's finger, but if I had you, baby, sounds like something, baby, oh, it sounds like something, baby, sounds like something. This guy just has stage presence coming out the wazoo. He has the it factor. Even if he didn't have the voice, he's got that kind of thing where there are a couple of artists, I'm not going to name names because I'm sure they have dedicated followings of their own, whose voices actually aren't that amazing. They're not that great. They, they're good, but they're not phenomenal. But when they get on stage, and they start a performance, they kill it. They slay it, they destroy it. They do incredible, incredible things on stage. This man has the whole package because he has the voice. And when you put him on stage, it's straight up it factor. It is, I want to see a full concert of his because, you know, two, three hours, those hip wiggles, I'm okay with it. I'm here for it, but... Taking, a, taking aside the fact that he's just a beautiful guy, taking aside the fact that he has an incredible and beautiful voice and is talented on the guitar, he's also got the stage presence that just makes you want to keep watching him. How is this guy not a household name? How do I not know everything about him by now? Because this was a year ago. He should be taking the world by storm by now. It's mind-blowing to me that, he ha that, I, that I'm just learning of him for the first time now. Uh, but we've got a couple more minutes of this video. I can't wait to hear what the judges say to him. Let's get into it. Absolutely killed it. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's an original, right? I guess so it is. I think that's okay. a hit. So it is, it is an original. That is, yeah, that, that is hell of a hit song right there. That's going on my playlist as soon as I'm finished with this. And I think that you're a hit. You're like mm -hmm. the new Elvis of country. Home run. I think you're going to break out from this particular song, this particular moment, on this particular night. Elvis, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. You guys are a, a band. We don't have a lot of bands yet, you know, this season. So I think you are perfect for America's Got Talent. The perfect combination. The song was amazing. You are amazing. And I think America's gonna go crazy. The girls are going crazy. I feel the need to interject. It's not just the girls, man. Like, I was going crazy. Sometimes when we get bands on the show, for whatever reason, it just really honestly does sound like a mess from the minute it starts. With you, it was the opposite. I think this performance should make a difference to what you're doing, because people are going to like you. The song uh, was really, really good as well. It was really authentic. That's what I liked about it, because um, I know so much about country music. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, for me, a good song is a good song, and everything worked everything. for you today. And you're very likable. We haven't got to know the rest of you yet, but I'm sure you are. They are. They are. Okay. Right, we're going to vote. Howie? Yes. Could you not? How could you have not got four yeses with that? Like to have come on there and not only given that level of performance, but on an original song that like a lot of times an original song, you can kind of pick it out by the lyrics. Uh, and 
you you have to be a, like a skilled so I'm talking about on a show like this obviously every song's an original song at some stage but uh yeah on a show like this sometimes someone will come on and do an original song and you can tell that the songwriting just isn't up to standard this sounds like an established artist or an established songwriter has written this and yeah he absolutely killed it thank you guys so much oh my gosh it's crazy He's a star, yeah. and that song is going to be a hit. I bet they're going to go to the finale. What does this mean to you right now? Man, this is all. This is like everything I've been dreaming since. Since I was a kid, man, I've been dreaming to stand on that stage. Now we got four yeses, <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm shocked right now. I can't believe it. Oh, he's so nice and likable as well. Like, the judges said it, but yeah. At the end there, he is just, he just seems like such a nice guy that... It just, you, you want him to succeed and you want him to do well. And I so want to know more of his songs now. I need to find a way to hear more of his stuff because he was just awesome. That is going on the playlist for sure. I absolutely loved it. Thank you so much for watching that reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, please check out the original video. It will be linked in the description. Give it a like, give it a comment and subscribe to the original artist. Also leave me a like and a comment and subscribe to me because it helps out the channel so, so much. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see on the channel because I'm always, always reading the comments and always listening and it means the absolute world to me. Check me out over on Patreon where I run weekly polls for the reactions that I do. I also do weekly TV show reactions, monthly movie reactions, a monthly live stream and the highest tier you can get a guaranteed reaction right here on the channel. Not to mention, as I said at the beginning, all of these videos are released in advance to my Patreon and my YouTube members. So check out those features. I will see you all in the next reaction video. Have a great day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time zone you're in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.